In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how to use the preset font faces to understand how fonts are constructed and how to adjust them to fit your particular needs. So in order to do this, I'm going to uh, click first on my media content and we'll put a color board on the screen. I'll take a light blue and stick that into track number one. That'll be a background for my font. And then I will go ahead and uh, go back there and move to my title room on the left, the big T. And I will drag down the default My Title into track number two. So here I have My Title bar barely visible. We'll fix that in a moment. I'll double click on the title in track two. And now it will give me the title. I could pick a different color. For example, if I picked white, it would show up really good on the blue. But there's a better way. I'm going to move to the character preset area. Now, in th these screens, if you have a right arrow, it means there is a menu hidden. If you have a down arrow, it means the menu is visible. So I'll click on the right arrow by the character preset here. And with this chosen, I can pick one of these preset options for my titles. I have a whole host to pick from. Let's just pick one and see what happens. I'll click on this one here, and then I have a couple things I can do with it. Once I have it on the screen, I'm going to go to the font area here. I, they have chosen Arial 24, with the, the basic color being this bluish. Now I can increase the color by clicking on the down arrow and selecting, or I can use the mouse and drag and make it larger. I can actually make it flatter or taller or wider, whatever I want to do with it. For the sake of making this easy to see, we'll just go ahead and, and use this. Now I can see exactly what is happening with my title. There are some boxes in the preset that are checked that will help me understand how they got here. So I'm going to click the right arrow by font face and see what I learn. Now, the, it begins with a blue, and the font face itself ends with a white. And the gradient is upward. So the blue is at the bottom, and the white is at the top. If I take this wheel and turn it the opposite, my blue will be on the top, and my white will be on the bottom. I can use any angle I so choose. Top and bottom are pretty common. Let's assume I want to change that. Well, I can click on either color, the beginning or ending color. Let's click the ending color. And say we don't want white. We want maybe a different kind of blue. So I'll click here and maybe click on uh, a pretty lighter one. Click on OK. And now it's this color. Not all that attractive, but it's one way to change it. So let's change it to something else. Let's make it... Uh, let's go something like, like a pink here and click on there and now I have it changed. Uh, it wouldn't be my favorite but it shows you what you can do. Let's continue. We also notice there's a font shadow. So I'll click on the right arrow and expose the shadow and it has, it's a fill shadow and it's kind of a reddish color here. It has a bit of a blur to it. Let's see what happens when we increase the blur all the way to the maximum. It gets extremely fuzzy. Let's, let's make it less of a blur. Let's change the distance now. Ah, that really notices. There's a huge distance, and here it's shorter. So the distance controls the width of the shadow from the actual image. So I'll make this a little bit thinner. Let's just go to one or two. You can also click here and just pick a number from the drop down and you can change the angle. The default usually is to the lower right. You can make it to the lower left if you want. Now the other option we have here in font face as we look at the preset is the border. If I click on the border. I notice that right now they've made a two color gradient. We have a gradient on the face of the letter. We also have a gradient on the border and the border starts with a uh, this bluish color and ends with this dark blue. Let's change this one uh, to a white and click on OK. And now my border around my letter has changed. And I can also change the size of the border, make it thinner, 
make it totally go away or slightly there. Uh, let's let's go with a different color on the bottom too. Let's go uh, not with a white navy, but something like a grayish color, and click OK. And there I have a white going to gray for my border. And it's a two-color gradient. If I want a solid border, I just click down here and, and do uniform color. And I can pick my single color. Let's just make it black, which is common. And there is a, a black border. And again, I can change the, the thickness of it. Uh, and I can add blur if I want to or make it somewhat transparent so you, so you don't see it as well. And that's an example of how you can change those kinds of things. I can go back all the way up to my presets, click on a different one, and now I have another preset that I can learn from. Uh, here it's a different font face. If we look down here, uh, Times New Roman, 36. And uh, let's see how they did this one. This one is a four color gradient. Now, depending on your version of PowerDirector, you may or may not have the four color option. But uh, this is the gradient for the face of the letter. So if I want to change the lower left uh, from that kind of yellow, let's make it kind of a darker yellow, a greenish yellow maybe, and that changed that lower left corner. I can also change the right corner. Let's brighten that up even more and click on OK. And so you can adjust it any way you want. We also have a shadow here, and the shadow here is black. I can change the fill shadow. Um, let's make it a purple and click on OK. And there's my shadow. And I can also change the distance, the blur, and the transparency. So we'll make it a little thinner here. Something like that if I want. <laughs> I also have a border. And the border is this uh, uh, a two-color border with the kind of an army greenish type color and then the black. And uh, we can change that any way we want. Let's make that a little bit of a darker color and click on OK. And uh, you can tweak this all day long. But it gives you an example to see uh, how you can adjust the font face, the border, uh, all these features. And you can start with a preset if you like and say, how did they do that? But I'd like to make it my own. That gives you a great opportunity to change the way your fonts look in CyberLink PowerDirector.